Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. So, this piece of garbage is supposed to be some kind of professor by the name of Professor um, Preston Mitchum. Um, first of all, what is a professor of? Uh, uh, I, I bet you, you know what I heard about they're trying to make LGBT, um, um, courses mandatory. I bet you he's a professor of that because it turns out I, he is actually part of the alphabet community. I mean, just look at the, the some of these photos. Yeah, he looked very flamboyant, uh, in some of these photos that indicates he's part of the alphabet agenda um this idiot right here wanted to turn around and say that black straight straight black men are the weakest link uh that is very stupid to say um first of all black straight heterosexual black men are the strongest link in the black community Otherwise, uh, people wouldn't be going after us because they know that we are a threat to, uh, against racism. Uh, uh, we are a threat. We are a powerful force. We as straight black men are a powerful force and a lot of racists and a lot of sellouts and a lot, including sellouts who happen to be part of the alphabet community who are black. They're afraid of straight black men. So, no, we're not the weakest link. We are the strongest link. But this guy, see, the reason why he's also saying this is because a lot of us are not going to be, a lot of us are not supporting Andrew Gillum after he was, uh, first of all, Andrew Gillum was caught at a hotel room with a male escort. And then it looked like he happened, some of the pictures that of him have him naked and the, um, in a bathroom. It looked like people are saying he set up others. It was a joke. But if he was, and it, oh, another thing I wanted to bring out is that Andrew Gillum is supposed to be married to this one woman and they have children. But now I'm also hearing rumors that Andrew Gillum may be alphabet and that he is considered bisexual. Now, as you heard, that's a, a sector of the LGBT community. Bisexual individuals both can be both man, female, or trans. And usually bisexuals, um, uh, it's really hard to determine who's a bisexual and who's just homosexual or is because they, uh, bisexuals, they tend to go for either sex, meaning, uh, if they were a man, they can be with, with a woman or a man. I mean, they'll, they could still be, choose a woman to marry and have children, but they may have also been interested in being in relationships with a man. So that's why it's called bisexual is, it's not, they're not in love with the opposite sex or the same sex. They're in love with anyone of any sex. That's what a bisexual is, by the way. And that's what they're saying about Andrew Gillum. And then people are noticing that Andrew Gillum is not getting a lot of support by the black community because Andrew Gillum, even though he, uh, as a politician, has not really done too much for the black community. So this professor by the name of Preston Mitchell is trying to force, he made this stupid article as an open letter to get black straight men to support Andrew Gillum, but has Andrew Gillum supported other black men when they get into pickles like the one that he got into? Also, notice that a lot of straight black men try to avoid or know how to avoid pickles like the one Andrew Gillum is. That shows you right there that black straight men are not the weakest link. But see, this this dude right here, this self-hating 
dude, Preston Mitchell, um, like I said, he's alphabet. That shows you right there. He has a hatred towards black, straight black men. And because of the fact that, um, let's see. Um, he probably was picked on. He probably is going to go around claiming that he was picked on by straight black men because of his sexuality. Uh, he probably was not tough enough to take on any, um, if he was to get in a fight, he would, and if it happens to get, be against a straight black man, he probably lost every uh, fight against straight black men. He probably lost fights against Bi uh, um, bisexual or other gay black men. I bet you that's what happened to him. He probably lost fights against women. <laughs> which is, uh, which will be a really considered to him an extreme embarrassment. He fit, he's nothing more than a beta male. That's what he is. He's a beta male. Um, he doesn't know what it takes to be a real man. So, he's now lashing out against real men, and in particular, straight black men. He's lashing out against them, because uh, us as straight black men do not see him or any one of his ilk as real men. We don't see him as a real man, so now he's lashing out against straight black men, against real men. Well, first of all, screw you, Preston Mitchell. Uh, and you supposed to be some kind of professor, but yet you act like a effeminate, weak-minded child. You're not a professor. You're just a weak-minded child. Yeah, I, I will not consider you as a, prof a professor of what? Yeah, that's the question. Where did you get your A PhD? Did you buy your degree? More like you bought your degree. You claim to be a professor, but you sound like an idiot. With that straight black man of the weakest link. Uh, don't think so. You're just, you're just, all he's doing is, he's just talking bull crap. And then the thing with Andrew Gillum, maybe he was set up. Maybe he didn't cheat on his wife. Maybe he was tricked. But the question is, why was Andrew Gillum at that room not with his family, especially not with his wife? Why was he with some strange man who turned out to be a escort? And then they also said that they found meth where Andrew Gillum is. So basically, Andrew Gillum's pro political career, because remember he was the mayor of Tulsi, uh, Tulsahala, uh, Florida. He's trying, he was trying to go for the governor's ra uh, race. He's trying to become the governor of Florida, but he lost. So his political career, this could destroy his political career. Uh, he's also on CNN. He was trying to be in that, that pa news panel with Angela Rye, April Ryan, and Bakari Sellers. But I think that could also be in jeopardy as well if they still don't, if they still have it. That can also be in jeopardy. But that we're not going to talk about Andrew Gillum right now. We're going to talk about this guy. Oh, uh, Preston Mitchell is just a weak beta male. That's uh, 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 he's uh, emotional. He he's acting very emotional when he was making those comments. I think it was on an article and maybe some tweets. He was he acted very emotional. Um, emotional. Uh, he was in his feelings. And, uh, that's, that's the thing. He, he just has a hatred towards straight black men because he's not seen as a real man. And he's not a real man. He's a coward. He's a sellout. So F you, Preston Mitchell. Screw you and I hope you burn in hell. Yeah. But I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Um, that's all I have to say. Uh, I'll leave, also leave links to follow me on different accounts. Also, make sure you like the video, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. 
Make sure you subscribe in case if so if they you are unfortunately unsubscribed somehow. If that happens, resubscribe and re-hit that notification bell. And that's all I have to say for now. This is J Dog. Thank you for watching, and I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.